Hey guys, I said I'll do a video on my bag. So uh, here's the outside of it. Just give you an idea about the size and weight. It's got some molly strapping on the back. Um, a little morale patch area on the front. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at it on the inside. All right, here's the whole kit open. We can start on this side and go through. So uh, we have a fire striker. This is a uh, small grappling hook. It's actually really cool. End is magnetic, so it will stick to things. Um, but if you unscrew it, like so, there are heads down in here. What you do is you put them in like this. And you screw this back on. Now you have a grappling hook that you can fish things out of a tree or, or down into something and pick things up with the, the magnet. So yeah. Up next we have a stream light, flashlight. This is the uh, brightest flashlight I could find for the size that it is. It's extremely bright. USB rechargeable. So you can uh, recharge it right there. And, um, and they make all kinds of really great products. Uh, I'll link all the uh, product names and stuff in the description where you can find copies of this. Next in the back, we have a uh, magnetic collapsible. So this will hold up to uh, 20 pounds. It can pick things up. So again, hard to reach places. Just another tool. <laughs> Behind that we have a hand drill, which uh, is one of these push to operate kind of, oh here we go, yeah like this, yeah. And I have a lot of bits stored in the back, which we can get to. We have a uh, butane torch, yeah, can't really see it out here, but you can hear it working. Next we have a socket wrench and bit driver combination. So you have the ratchet style, but you also have the bits over here that you can put in. I'll show that off later. You can change directions right there, so that's good. Next we have some uh, Nipex snips. These things are just great tools to have, real strong seven inch snips. Little pry bar and nail puller. This thing is great. The uh, Gerber dime, my friend got me this for my birthday. This for its size has everything you could ever need. Spring loaded pliers. All different little tools in here. A little driver tools. You have clippers. You can all open these from the outside. I should probably be doing it like that. A little knife. A uh, bag opener. It's only sharp right there, so you can cut without cutting too deeply. Little pliers, I mean, um, not pliers, uh, little um, tweezers. Yeah, so this thing has literally everything you could need for the size that it is. I can't think of any other tool you could fit on something literally that small. Keep it in like your fifth pocket or whatever. So if you've struck a fire with this, this tool will help you keep it going. It's um, like a bellow and you can blow into it. So you can get into a real small space or something and blow or far away. It's just a great tool for uh, helping start fires. Uh, this is tire marker, orange 
tire marker you can write on any surface it's weatherproof it's going to be outside for a long time i picked orange kind of go with the color of the set but also to just have high visibility so uh, if you need to mark on something to get a message out there that's it um got a basic screwdriver a little bit driver uh, you can put any bit in this and it's just a real strong driver set i'll show you more about that when we go through all the uh all the different bits Okay, in the back here, we have my unstoppable key ring. I'll go through this. This is a whole video in and of itself. But uh, you have every kind of standard key on here to get into, like, mailboxes and gates and door keys and police car keys and handcuff keys and all kinds of water keys and, and different train things and... So yeah, this is a very interesting uh, setup. This this keychain in itself right here is about a hundred dollars in specialty keys, and it's always added and changing and growing all the time. Back here, I also have um, ten foot measuring tape, a thermometer, and compass with a little magnifying glass. We have a uh, spool of Kevlar thread, Kevlar wire, whatever you call it. And some flat duct tape. So perfect. Uh, let's put all this stuff back. That's everything on this side. Moving to this side, we have some Titan survivor wire. Now this is different than paracord. Yes, it is paracord. But if you break it open, like regular paracord, there are smaller threads in there, but they have all different kinds of things. There's like a monofilament line, there's a, I think a copper line, so you can make antennas and snares and stuff like that. There's all kinds of different things. I'll, I'll link you to that so you can see what's going on in there. Um, up here we have a uh, level square, so it's actually magnetic too. So you can um, stick it on different things. And uh, it's good to know if you're building, building straight and building square. Speaking of being square, you have to be square. I have an actual square right here. So it's always good to have to measure things out. Small pocket speed square. Now this thing's really cool. This will actually detect AC current anywhere. You turn it on. And you just move it over things and you can tell if the line is live, a wire is live, or an outlet is hot. Uh, we'll show you some more examples doing that. Next we have this uh, Gerber, I forget what it's called, but um, it's kind of got this uh, box cutter right here. But you also have all these different cutting points on here for uh, cutting lines. Uh, it's, the whole thing's a giant pry bar, bottle opener, different different various things. So that's a really great flat packable thing right there to have. We have uh, more Knipex grips right here. So these things are really great to have. You see, push this down, and uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So next up you have a uh, police crime scene chalk. This is super UV stuff and an actual UV flashlight. So you will be able to see that wherever. Uh, so you can mark, make invisible marks if need be. Along with that we have a green laser pointer in here it's actually waterproof as well so good for uh, pointing things out at distances underneath that we have an entire uh, hex wrench set with uh, ball tips this is uh, the metric set and one last thing some more uh, needle nose or some pliers with some uh, snips as well on there. And lastly, behind here we have 
our last pocket to go through. We have some really small Allen wrenches, hex wrenches, both metric and standard. Really, really tiny. We have every kind of hex size in both metric and standard. We have security bolts. We have everything right here. All the sizes, all the sockets, all the security features. If that's not enough, we have more. All different sizes, all the tamper proof. Yeah, you can see all that in there. Here we have um, all the uh, screw bits, all the uh, drill bits for the, uh, the drill, the hand drill. Got a um, photo wallet organizer. And in here I'm adding things like a uh, small signal mirror. And then um, Grim Survival Tools has these really great uh, breakout tools. Uh, there's a lot of gimmicky BS out there, but Grim is some really good stuff. So you have fish hooks here, you have sewing needles and buttons as well. And then over here you have arrowheads. So you could actually attach these to uh, some something to make some kind of arrow and shoot it. And I have a few more. So this is always a work in progress and always growing and changing. As far as sockets go, I have every socket, both standard and metric, and a quarter inch right here, which will attach to these. A small funnel pops open like that, so you can pour things. It's a uh, non-stick. So you can get whatever you want back in it. Some uh, extenders for the uh, for the socket set. And uh, the one thing that I'm trying to add to work into this is um, I had some fishing line, and um, I need to add a small spool or something like that to this to to put in there to add some. But that's the whole kit. That's um, everything I could ever use in a small containment part. That's uh, without bringing my, my main bag. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll list everything in the comments of uh, where you can find all this stuff. If you have any suggestions or ideas, this is always a work in progress. I'm always trying to swap things out, make things more efficient. Might actually get a smaller bit driver here because this is, seems to take up a lot of the space. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, I'll, I'll let you know, let me, if you build one, show me what you've built too. I think that'd be really cool. Show and tell time. All right, thanks guys. Until next time.